Hello Betplotacy fans, this is Mark from My Size Hedge Fund, back again with the Never Getting Back Together decklist of the week that took 4th place at the Reading Regional. It's using Null as its identity, and the decklist author says that nobody really knows what to expect when Null is put down across the table from them, so that you've got that element of surprise at least. It still does your traditional Anarch things, um, even pulling in some tools from, we'll say, Max. So you've got your account siphon going, it has Wanton Destruction, which is an interesting include, and then it uses Eater and Keyhole to keep up that pressure as well. If your opponent is overly icing things, you have cutlery events to start taking things down a peg, and Parasite, which works well with Null's identity. So people might feel a little bit safe with a two-strand piece of ice, you put a Parasite on it, run, use Null's ability, and uh, it's gone. Kaput. One mindset to get into with this deck as well is it's willing to take tags. This may seem strange in a tag-heavy meta at the moment, but who might argue the deckless author? So let's try and get into that frame of mind and see how we get on. Well, we find ourselves up against Cerebral Imaging, and this could be this could be an interesting one. Um, they obviously don't want to be siphoned. We want to siphon them into the ground. We're kind of hoping that they aren't on kill. So, uh, I'll keep this. We have Inject nice and early. We have two Eaters, which is unfortunate. But at least if we end up drawing way too much, we can get rid of it. Uh, we can get rid of one safe, safely enough. Okay, so they're going to leave HQ wide open, so we're hoping for double siphon. No, unfortunately not. But it is a draw four. And let's put this down. And let's try and draw into something good. Couldn't find our siphon. And now they have enough money to pull off the combo. It's just by finding their pieces. Uh, so I think we just credit up a little bit. And we'll take the free look at R&D for the moment. Next turn we can pop this. Jackson. <sighs> fine, fine. <laughs> they have, of course, ways and means to get it back, but at least we don't let them get the free draw. Okay, so this is happening. Just Vitruvius. Run HQ for the res. Quandary's okay. We can deal with that. Let's try and draw into something good. Yog's an expensive way of dealing with it. But it is our way. We really need to find our siphons promptly especially as they're getting their, their money built up. So there it is. Unfortunately, we are short on money. Uh, let's credit credit. Pop down an eater. So we have a siphon and we have lots of ways to recur it. So that's exactly what we need to do. Okay, so we can siphon, deja vu siphon. We can siphon, same old thing siphon. But either way, we're siphoning. We might as well use a same old thing, uh, because it could be taken off us fairly swiftly. So it doesn't hit their hand size, unfortunately, but at least it'll drag them 
back down towards a credit threshold that we're okay with. And last click will just draw. Yeah, we'll draw. So they could spend four to get rid of the same old things, which seems wise. Okay, they're going to leave us one, which, okay, yeah, that makes sense. They're going to have to trash a lot of cards. So this gives us a chance to try and draw in two. Keyhole. Yeah, we'll put this down. run archives and we'll try and get a deja vu siphon for a bit of value. Research grant and a global food. Interesting. Well at least they won't get uh, three points off this. But sitting here with freedom of equality through hand. Freedom of true equality. Not where you want it. Okay they're going to build themselves back up again. And we're going to knock them down. And they're in a rough spot because they're not going to be able to have a four dice, for starters. And they aren't going to have the, the, the answers either, because they're going to end up on such low money. Um, let's pop for a couple of cards. <laughs> Liberated would be funny to put down. We could put down the Yogg. At least then we're not spending one. Uh, let's run R&D. They kind of have to let us through. Another research grant. Um, how good is Forked in this matchup? And IQ. So that's going to be a great piece of ice for them at the moment, all things considered. I'm resilient, I'm reluctant to bin money. I think Corroder for the moment. And do we forked? We've lost all our same old things. I think day job, because we don't want to give them the the turn where they can just uh, set everything up again. Well that's good recovery. That is what they needed. Okay, um, let's try and draw into some stuff. Wanton is kind of good. Let's put Yog down. And credit, credit. Next turn we can Wanton and try and knock out a couple of cards. At least we'll do it for free as well. So yeah, we'll want to use the three clicks. Knock out half their hand, which isn't a, a bad return. Who knows, we might uh, get lucky. So they're just going to take three. Which means we may not have hit something, but we also may have. So uh, let's hit freedom. 
Let's run archives. And we can run HQ for two pops as well. Oh, huh, they binned IQ. It seems strange when your hand size has been quite low. You know, not the situation you want to find yourselves in with the, the hand size low, but it is what happened. Cyberdex. Uh, we'll get rid of that. A, it takes out a card, and B, uh, it means that parasites, things like that, will be effective if we try and draw into them. IQ, okay. So that's going to be a pretty good piece of ice once they get their recovery going. This could be it, in which case we still go through for free. Okay, they're gonna gonna beef things up a little bit. That makes sense. Um, let's try and find our other pressure tools. And we'll draw. So another laundry. Okay, we want to find ourselves. Let's see what we've pitched. So more deja vu's. We have another siphon as well. Hmm. And they go for the advance. Okay. Um. I'm willing to try here and see what kind of stuff we run into. Architect is the worst case scenario though. So maybe let's, I heard worse. Uh, this isn't really that good. Dirty laundry R&D. At the very least we get money. Okay. So we won't access, but at least we can Get our bank anyway. And let's run server 2. Shoring. So maybe they've forgotten who we are. And this is why you play Null, is to catch people out like this. And they get another IQ, but strength 3, we can get through this easily enough. And we get ourselves an efficiency committee, which is worth 3 points to us. And that is how you play the Null deck. So we didn't get our keyholes going, but the, the early siphons just absolutely wreck cerebral imaging. Um, some good hits with, well, because of the, the siphons we were getting some good stuff as well. And just lucky accesses here and there. And perhaps they forgot about the whole null thing. But that is why you play him, this surprise factor. And this was kind of a good exhibit of what he's all about. Taking tags, going through, wrecking stuff. And hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please drop a like and come on over to Ice House Hedge Fund to check out some more Gentechi.net action.